Welcome to Perth's number one podcast. You're listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Yeah, yeah, we're on the way to Dunsbra, a little mad trip with the boys. We're celebrating. G'day, guys, and welcome back to the Jamo and Dylan Show, episode 126 today. Here we are. And we're back. We're back. We're back. We've had a week off. I was in isolation. Fun? Nah, it was boring. First three days was good because yeah. you just chill. It's like school holidays. You yeah. and I were talking about it. It's like being 16, 15 yep. again. I'm back playing FIFA. I'm back watching the footy because AFL was back. So, yeah, no, the first few days was good. And then, and then it you got realised you got four more. Really boring. Um, so, yeah, my sister had COVID. She was in and out of hospital for a range of things. And then it was just a shit show. Finally got out of quarantine and it, well, out of isolation. And now we're back. She ran into a Nazi, mate. mate in yeah, the, that's the just happened. So she was on the bus. A genuine modern day. Yep. Feudalism. What's the say on his back? New feudalism. Then it has the Swatsika, and then it says Worldwide, Worldwide Kingdom. Kingdom. And he's out doing the what's that sign called? The the, the, the hand hail up. thingy yeah, right yeah. near KFC. So there's that happening in the world. Yeah, there's there's strange people out there. And he's old. He's on a walker. Yeah. So he's thinking, I don't have much long left. Mm-hmm. Let's spread a message. Spreading his message, what he thinks. So there you go. And that's his truth. That's his message. Don't necessarily agree with it, but no, nah, I wouldn't say that's something we. Yeah, we have support. a fun video that we'll be doing later. Yeah, it just came out of nowhere, inspired by Misfit Minds. Yeah, Misfit Minds, good friends of the show, and um, yeah, ins- heavily inspired by them. Yeah, yeah, but they haven't done it yet, so it'll be good. Paying homage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The lads doing and well, and paying homage to like Mr. Beast as well, mm-hmm. but on a much smaller scale. Yeah, on a Perth scale. Yeah, on a Jamo and Dylan scale, we have something. Very exciting, and a lot of you people have been waiting for it, right? Now, the lesbian love story, the lesbian lovers, um, obviously from the UK, they've had a long history of, you know, do you want to run us through the story? They're, they're with it's boys. one of the most beautiful stories of all time. They, they initially both had boyfriends. Yep. And then they started realising, you know what, we love each other. Mm. One of them messages us and goes, you know, what should we do? Yeah. Me and Jamo advise, you know, I think we, you should all sit down and um, just have a chat as a four. Lay it all out there. Get it out, be honest, be open. The boyfriends, they were a little bit sad. But I think they, everyone, kept, they kept going for a bit. Yeah, and then they realised they just couldn't be without each other. Yeah. The boyfriends understood. Um, you know, cut a long story short, the two girls end up getting together. They did. And then um, well, something happened. One of them had some issues, yeah, some like mental, mental health, health issues. issues and went a bit... Oh, no, because there was an abortion. Able. Yeah, and then another one ended up being pregnant from the ex-boyfriend, yep. got got an abort, you know, hit and the then ejecto there was button. The, then there was the mental health issues. And then the mental health issues. And then... Like last we heard, there was no contact or something. Yeah, they like hadn't. I hadn't spoken to, and that made me sad internally. Honestly, this I could be like, a ten episode Netflix series, and I think be. it would just pull at the heartstrings. The problem is, people already know about it, but that's only our our community. Yeah, our if there's people. any producers or show writers, I mean, we, me and Jamo will be the producers yep. and the the face of the show. Even you know though what? We, won't, we won't act in it, but we'll you might know, even play we, a part, mate. I'll, yeah, I like might background. Have a go. Yeah, yeah. Like just a little shop owner. Like an entourage or something. When or we like could play the boyfriends. We could. Just for a little bit. Because they're not, they're not in the show that much. No, they'll just be in the first, probably two episodes out of a 10 episode yep. series. Yep. But yeah, how long would the episodes run for? Like a 45? Yeah, a 45. Because it's a drama. It is a it's drama. It's a drama. It's going to be sad. It's going to be heartbreaking. Maybe an eight episode, 45 minute Limited series. Because yeah. everyone watches those. They mm. get, it's going to be, I reckon it could be a I thing, like right? That. So this is the update. You want to read the first half? I'll read second. Here we go. All right. Hey, boys, a final update for you. Maybe. Okay. Me and my girlfriend got engaged two days ago. Crazy, bro. Who would have thought that this journey started with you guys and now we're here with all the ups and downs and everything? Feels like we know you guys, but we don't know anything. But you don't know anything about us. We're from London, UK. Awesome. Go there from... Yep. We'll add a little picture in here too, but we just wanted to say thank you. We are hoping the wedding will be sometime next year if all this craziness calms down, but we would love for you to make it here. That would be awesome. You're one of the biggest parts of our journey together. We also wanted to let you know that everything is great. We are both healthy and loving each other the best way we can every day. 
Again, boys, thank you so much. Hopefully we can see you boys on our special day. Love the potty as always. Keep up the good work. And there's the photo. Lovely. Lovely. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We love to see it. I can't believe it how far they've come. The names of these two women who are getting married, Millie and Carmen. Beautiful. And you know what we can call the show? Millie and Carmen. I don't know, something like that. Wow. But thank you guys for being a part of the journey too. They look happy. Look, little smoochy smooch. Yeah, a little grin. I'll ask them if we can use the photo. I wonder if they inv- are going to invite, excuse me, the ex. The exes. Boyfriends. Yeah. I'm not sure how it would have panned out, to be honest. Because an abortion is a big deal. That would be a strain on a relationship. Yeah, for sure. But we'll get some more context from them. But yeah, I can't believe, you know, the full circle that's come from this story yeah, is... Bro. Wow, it really does pull at the heartstrings, doesn't mm-hmm. it? It does. Now, this is taking a wild turn here, but I was actually on the toilet. Bro, it, was before, it wasn't meant to, she, one of them tried to commit suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the anniversary. Oh, I didn't know it was the anniversary, Ooh, but I knew. I forgot that. Yeah. See what I mean? This shit is drama central, bro. Um, yeah, so I was on the toilet, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I messaged you. Mm-hmm. And this is a little, it's not graphic, but like if you don't like poo chat, to back off for a bit, give it us a few minutes. So I was on the toilet and I messaged you and I was about to poo. Mm-hmm. Right? And I said to you, you know when a poo just, like you know yeah, it's going to be good. You know, I agree. And like you, you're sort of excited for it. Yeah. Because this demon's been inside of you and it's almost like an exorcism. Yeah, and there's just... The satisfaction level is elite. Yeah, and you know? I'm going to go out here and say this with no no qualifications whatsoever. I think men pooing would feel better than a woman pooing. I can see why you think that, yeah. I think that because, you know, we've heard of the, the G spot in a man's asshole. Yeah, right? that is a good point. Now, the poo obviously will slide out. If it's a big one, it'll probably press up against it, right? There's probably some satisfaction Even just there. the pressure. Yes. You know? Exactly. Is satisfactory. Whereas with a woman, obviously... I don't know too much about the anal capacity of a woman. However, they have no G spot in the arsehole. No, it's not, if it's I not located correct. there. Exactly. So, watch someone come and be like, actually, 5% of women do. Yeah. You're, you're ignorant. Yeah. Stop wearing do rags. The abnormal ones. We weren't wearing the do rags. So, come on. And just relax. Yeah, relax. Also, yeah, one of the dudes, I was never going to have him on anyway because he's yeah. a loser. I was like, okay, why don't you come on and talk about it? He goes, Oh, no, I'm sure there's plenty of other people. Yeah. Well, then shut up. Yeah, every post we did, he said, you're all the shit. Yeah, you'll stop doing the podcast. You guys are trash. And then I said, thanks, bro. Love you. Um, Do you want to come on and talk about it? And he goes, no. Then bro, literally shut the fuck up. So, yeah, about the poo. Yeah. Right. The satisfaction. Satisfaction. I probably have more satisfying ones than I don't, but there is sometimes the rock that comes out and hurts. You know what I mean? Yep, 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 yep. It well, sometimes it's messy too yeah. and it's just you oh it's a jungle yeah. brain but what do you guys think do you think like the boys out there do you enjoy your poos is it something that you do and you're like okay that that was pretty good it wasn't like a chore mm. whereas I, some I, girls are like oh i've got to go a, to the toilet it's a good it's a calming time i when i was about mm. four or five or three i remember vividly being scared of the toilet <laughs> Just so being in there alone, scared. No, just scared. Why? Bro. Like, just scared. Wait, I want to dig deeper. I was just. I remember being scared of it. Scared of the toilet. Yeah, like just being in the room alone. Did like, you look at the toilet as like something that could hurt? Like you? I didn't. I wasn't scared of going. Like that physical action of peeing or mm. pooing. It was just the actual being in the toilet. Just felt scary to me. I don't know why. Okay. Right. I think I got my legs stuck in the toilet once. Really? See, that's frightening. And then I thought like. <clears throat> that it was going to automatically flush and I was done. Because mm. it is a black hole. Like, if you get sucked down, you, yeah, you're right. in the sewage now. But now the toilet's a safe space. It's calming and yeah. it's really just time with you you yourself and it is relaxing. you can relax. It is. Funny how things change. Perspective in that. Yeah. What else was I scared of? But yeah. I don't know. Yeah, what else? At the top of my head, it's hard. Because I'm scared of mice or rats, I always yeah. have a fear that one's going to come from, from the, un, in the toilet. Yeah. And I've seen that, like a TikTok on that, okay. and that can happen. And I Oh, this is this will scare you a bit. When I was, oh, it would have been probably around 10 years old, right? Mm. Also had a, a small fear of, you know, mice, rat. They're yeah. not nice. They're not, bro. So I'm going to, Dad wanted me to check if his, 
Oh, it was something to do with our oven, and then it has like a tray underneath that also cooks. Yep, yep, I know and what I, you yep, mean. And I've pulled the tray out, and there was a mouse in the tray, alive. How? I don't know. Apparently, Dad reckons when they were fitting it in, they had to drill a big hole in the back of the oven, like where the wall is. So it's come through the wall into where we cook our food. That's fucked up, Disgusting. Bro. Ew. Did you freak out? Yeah, I thought I was in Beijing. Oh, man. A market. But no, that really instilled fear into me. Then there was a time where I was standing on my bed because where I live, it's, it's sort of in the bush. So there's these things are prone to happen, right? And I was in my bed, standing on my bed, and I saw it. This like is another time, just sprint across the room. Yeah, I've had that happen, I and hate it's that. frightening. Like I, hate I that. literally just want to implode. I want to crawl inside myself and die. But mice are so small, and for some people, they find them cute. Oh, right. I don't get that. But when I see a mice run across my room, I think you're the devil. I did watch Ratatouille and it like 5% yep. made me feel for them. Okay. But then I'm also kind of like, you know what? Just that's not them. I can't there be There is tricked. a pecking order though. There is an animal kingdom. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And they're not high on the list. No. No. Nah. You know what we call people we don't like and people that do shitty things? Rats. That's true. Yeah. Bad association. Never really call people mice unless it's like a small person. Yeah, playing. they'd be described as mousy. Yeah. You know, if they're little and like Quaint. frail yeah. and <laughs> little <laughs> nose and shit. We've seen a few of those in our time. You've seen some, some people look like rats too. Like yeah, city yeah. rats and eshes look ratty. Yeah. So, yeah, there's, there's lots of different people out in the world. There are. There is a pecking order of people as well. There is. There is indeed. I've got a... Surprise, actually. What do you mean? I've been working, bro. I haven't told you. I thought I'd save it for the potty. <laughs> what do you mean? I got a new job. Where? I don't want to say where because they, they watch, bro. That's what Oh, that's what got me. I was like, you can oh, tell me shit. after though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Wait, I have a, so are you enjoying this new job? I don't want to. I have a grand plan, bro. A grand I've plan. actually been working a lot. I started last Thursday. <laughs> Look, but I wrote it down. Seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, eight. I worked <laughs> five out of six days, bro. No. I swear to God. I do believe you, but I, there's this thing in my mind where I'm like, you only last two or three days. <laughs> bro, five days. I've done five shifts of work. Okay. The, the employer might not want to hear this, but do you think you'll stay for some time? Yes. TBC? Okay. I'm yes. Like I said, bro, my master plan at the moment, okay. right? Yep. Um. There's a lot of training modules. All right. So I literally, like, this is maybe why I've stayed for a little bit. Okay. It's just so easy. All right. That I just, I'm just at the office. So like, I'm in the back the and I'm just on the computer. The office boy. <laughs> just doing training modules. <laughs> right? So I feel like I'm in the office, the show. That's yeah. what it feels like. And I just do that all day. Because there's at, hours and hours. Do you look at people in the office and sort of well, usually choose I'm a character the only for one, them? Y- usually I'm the only one in the actual office party. Ah. It's out the back doing the ah. training modules. Okay. Um, so How many people at this workplace? Oh, uh, about five or there's a, okay. like ten people who work there. But right. On the shift, there's always like six or seven people. You know, <laughs> I'm so curious. Lots of um Indians and okay. Asian people there. What what um what category or like what type of job is this? You know, just retail, say, retail, retail. Okay, yeah, so I'm just then there's what a, area? There's so many <laughs> in Coburn. Okay, so back where I used to work at Coles, actually, I'm familiar there. Oh, I in, like within being, that building yeah, structure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah, it can be a little game for everyone. Just figure it out. People will be going walking through Coburn and trying to find you. But anyway, I um yeah, just I'm doing a lot of training modules, okay. right? And how my, many how many training modules do you have left? Out, there's weeks worth of training modules, right? I know what you're gonna so do, you sicko. The job like you it's can't, it's don't say it's, <laughs> no. Well, I'm planning to stay there, bro. Oh, yeah. Um the training modules take a long some of okay. them like one of them takes an hour, right? But you know, mine take you know, I don't <laughs> I Take my time to make sure I learn everything. Make sure you're getting it right. And, stuff. and it is like I found um, there's a little ball, you know, like squishy. A stress ball. A stress so ball. I get to play when the office is free. I get to play my game. <laughs> Wait, is this the one where you throw the ball and <laughs> try and make sure it doesn't touch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But get it as close By as the you shadow, can. you can tell how close <laughs> the ball gets to the roof. I tell you, bro, when you get it, so you can get it to within a centimetre or two and it's yeah really good. So, yeah, just doing the training modules. That's cool. And then, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, uh, have you expressed your, I guess, desire to work, like, 
minimum days, like two or three? Yeah, I've just been doing like three. Are they, like, because I did a lot early on. Wait, so how long have you been here? I started last Thursday. Okay. And I've you said you worked f- five or six days. Yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, I had the and then I haven't worked uh, since Tuesday. All right, that's fair. Yeah. When's your next shift? Saturday. Tomorrow. Yep. So just another little. So yeah, I just see it as it's office, bro. Time, I just go. It? I just go there, like. Get a little coffee or something, a yeah. little iced chocolate or Do the people know about your trip mid-year? I don't think the podcast people know. Shall we tell or um, no? They don't know. I haven't told them because people ask. Oh, right. But that's all right. I don't think they watch the potty. I think they do watch all the TikToks, TikToks though. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of them have mentioned it. Yeah. I'm thinking, oh, shit. Yeah, just relax yourself. But actually, I'll once I can fully... the There's a lot more to this, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, right. when... Things come to whenever yep. I'll explain it all. It's actually disgusting. Like okay. I'm a piece of shit of how right. this has worked out. Yeah, the treatment. I'll tell you after, and we can share it with them. Yeah, yeah. It's but just you're you're gonna put in the hard work while you're there. Yeah, grind. Yep. Make some money for your trip. Yeah, yep. And then we'll see what happens. Yeah, exactly. Yep. That's a good okay. way to put it. Right. I'm just doing my best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know so bad. Yeah, it's, it's funny, oh bro. It's God. funny. It's yeah. Even Carly the other day was like, I don't know how you do this shit. Yeah, like, how does it sit in your heart? Just perfectly, so bro. It's fine. Sleeping like a baby, <laughs> like a newborn, bro. Like just cuddling in my bed. Just coming little, out. Yeah. yeah, it's good. All right. Little blankie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby blue is. colored room. Yep, yep. Yeah. Happy <laughs> days. Happy days. <laughs> All right, let's hit up with this one. It's oh, yeah. One. So this is a TikTok that we got sent. This was insane. Now, we'll give credit. The TikTok is from Janax World. Janax? Janax uh, World? Yeah. Janax World. J-A-N-A-K-S. World. World. All right. <clears throat> Should I just play it? Yeah, just yeah, play and it. and then we'll, we'll discuss. So hard to swap a fly, and I think it's genuinely ruined my life. And now I'm going to ruin yours. Okay. The way an animal perceives time is correlated to the animal's metabolism. So a fly having a fast metabolism perceives time in slow motion. So it can see the arm coming down to swat it and fly out of the way. Whereas a sloth, everything that's happening to the sloth because of its slow metabolism is happening in super speed. We're, we're all animals, and because of our different genetics and, and body fat and muscle and whatever, we all have different metabolisms. We are all perceiving time differently. What do I do? Um, I just found out why. So, what? I'm not sure how much truth there is to it. What do you even Google? Does a fly see time in slow motion? Because isn't a fly's lifespan really short? Yeah, only a few days. Compared oh, weeks, to you and maybe. me, flies essentially see the world in slow motion. Okay. Whoa. So they live tiny little short lives, but they get slow motion. As a human, you see the, a clock ticking at a particular speed. For a turtle, it would appear to be ticking at twice that speed. Wow. Okay, that's what? crazy. So let's think about swatting a fly as a sport or as a, like a, a hobby. That's really impressive. If because you're swatting a fly, that's on hard difficulty. The fly, like you're doing this, and the fly's just seeing it. He's just going, <laughs> whatever, fucking loser. Yeah. So he's seeing it in slow motion. But the sloth is seeing time in fast. But it's weird though because two speed. Bro. A fly would just think we're dumb, right? Because a fly, it, it's slow motion is just its regular yeah. life. They wouldn't know what we're seeing time in. That's why with a fly to kill, you got to go up mm. if it's there. You got to go up. You, they're going to. You got to anticipate. Up, yeah, yeah, because they're smart, bro. Remember Mr. Miyagi did him with chopsticks, bro. Yeah, so that he's crazy. You know, that's why he's yeah. Mr. Miyagi. That's true. Wow, this is crazy. For so for fly species, each tick would drag out about four times more slowly than how we see it. I wonder about fish as well. You know how people fish, and I've seen a lot of the indigenous communities do it up north, right? Mm. They'll jump off a jetty on top of the fish and grab it. Ooh. So if it's a big fish, they what they do, because fish obviously can't see up, right? Oh, true. Because the eyes on the side of their head, 
I guess they can look up a bit. But they're not looking up. Exactly. Uh. You can't be like that, right? So they jump on top of the fish, grab it, and then fingers crossed they hold onto it, and then that's dinner. Wow. Awesome. That's like that's cool. That's cool. I, I really rate sort of spear fishing, yeah, like yeah. natural, even what you described that's why there. I love I'm, that I'm shit. I'm trying to think. So obviously we perceive time the way we do. Mm. You and I could perceive time differently. Everyone if could, that's what they're bro. saying. Apparently. Like what? But Usain Bolt's 100 metre sprint record could be different for everyone. Yeah, I might think that's dust. Like, yeah. oh, I could do that. But I think in general, everyone would be pretty similar. How animals... I'm thinking how do fish perceive time? Let's have a look. Because that's weird. Even like a, a shark... How do fish perceive time? What's it saying? Body mass and metabolic rate determine our animals okay. of species. Let's see if it talks about fish. I would love to know about fish. This is scientific American, so... Because when we are fishing, not that you and I do it often at all, but we lure them in with mm-hmm. bait, right? And then if you get them hooked on perfectly or yep. hooked on a decent amount, then you should be able to reel it in. But I'm thinking about the people who free... Like, even with... um. They do it in America. Apparently dogs take in visual information 25% faster. Wow. Smart. They're not mentioning fish, eh? What was I saying? It's probably hard to study fish. Catfishing? Have you seen people not like what happened to Brandon Lear and stuff, but the actual, the cat actual fish. catfishing, they do it with their hands. Really? And like in um, swamps and stuff in America. Damn. Quite I haven't interesting. Seen that. We should watch that after. Yeah. This is insane. This really is shocking that animals literally are living in a different time, bro. It's a different world, man. Different atmosphere, stratosphere, the lot. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's crazy. Should we move on to the second half of the show? Yeah, yeah. We'll get it going. Let's do it. We hope you're enjoying the Jammo and Dylan show. It's now time to have your stories heard and your questions answered. To be featured on the potty, message the boys at Jammo and Dylan on Instagram. All right. Yeah, so this is... One of the grossest things ever. Is this the... This is... Yeah. The this is disgusting, everyone. Like, oh. This is probably... This has to be probably the biggest ick I've ever heard in a way. Yes. It's up there. Mm. It's a top five ick of all time easily. Makes me feel uncomfortable. I just want to know your boy's opinion on this ick that I have. It's happened to me once and... I, it just, ugh. So, when a guy messages and says... Can I come over for a play? I just... Ugh, makes me... Yeah. Am I being reasonable or is that just totally, like, unreasonable? You're being completely reasonable. When a guy messages and says, can I come over for a play? What is this? Kindergarten. A play? Oh, that's just given all the wrong all the wrong energy. Rubbing me off the wrong way. Oh, my God, bro. Can I come over for a play? You can just imagine. Probably with a little little cute face emoji. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Like a, maybe a blush face or a tongue out He's or something. what you call a nice guy. He's trying yeah. to... And he goes like, oh, women, fuck women, they never like yeah. me. But no, the way that he's done it is in Ew. a molesty manner. Yeah, there's nothing nice about that. No, that's mad molesty. And like, not pedophilic, but it's sort of... Oh, you can just I imagine would, no, the type I, of bloke. I think... They're the type of people who become that. Yeah, because they're like, oh, I can't get regular girls, so let's Why try the Why is he saying ones. for a play? I hope you're not letting him come over to that girl who no, sent it in. Please, uh, I don't think please she's don't. Done, I don't think she's done that. You're even, better than that. Even if the guy's done it as a joke, like if it's a running joke, it's still not Just good. a bad joke. Just stop it. That's oh, horrible, bro. That's yeah. like... Can I come over for a play? It kind of makes you feel a bit weird Yeah, inside. It makes me feel like I'm getting targeted, and yeah. that's just me listening to it. So I can't imagine... How she would have felt in that moment. I wonder how she replied to that. Oh. No thanks. I don't do play dates. Maybe just no reply and a block. Yeah, definite block. block for sure. Right, we've got a South African here. Our first South African, I believe. I don't know if we've had we've one ha- We've had messages, but maybe not a voice message. Okay. Yeah. Oh, where? How's the boys? Big love uh, from South Africa. I just got a question for you. All right, so I was talking to my lads. I work as a bartender, right? I was talking to my lads, the fellow, my fellow barmen. And uh, apparently I'm in a minority with this. I honestly thought, like, more people would do it. I'm um, apparently not. When you go and take a piss, right, do you take only your shaft out? Or do you take, like, the balls and shaft and all out, right? 
Because I take my nuts out as well. Otherwise, it feels like, you know, it, it pinches the shaft. Like, I don't, get all the, I don't get all the fluid out, you know? If I take the balls out as well, it's a lot more freeing. It flows a lot smoother. It's nice, you know? Um, let me know where you guys stand on this. Uh, yeah. Big love to you from South Africa, my man. Enjoy, guys. Oh, big oh, love. Little, yeah, you can tell. They're passionate, bro. They That's are. why they're good at rugby and they shit, are. you know? Um, they're still good at cricket, South Africa? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, I think I'm taking the whole package out, I think. I'm just taking the dick out. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm just thinking, I, if I'm at home, I'm probably in the minority with this, but I'll, because I don't want them to, I don't want my shorts or undies or whatever to get wet. So I just pull them down a bit further, like to my knees. Yeah, I, I would That's say. That's at home though, obviously. I think I just pop both over the top. And yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think no, I'm popping both over. I think I just pop. My my dick yeah, out. Yeah, just the shaft. Just my shaft. When he's saying the shaft gets pinched, is he talking about like wearing jeans and pants or like maybe maybe because he's a barman, so yeah, they would be wearing jeans and would. stuff. Because so I don't have that issue of the the pinch. Things that never get used is a no one ever unzips the fly and just if you yeah. like that's crazy. What about this is a good one. So the undies, right? Well, they have they have the door. The undies have the door, right? Where you're I've supposed never to be popping your it. willy out. Right? I've never used. I've it. never popped my willy through the door for that reason. No. Nah. No, 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 no way. I tried bro. it once just for fun. It's a bit weird. I hated it. I don't know why they think. And why is the door sideways? If anything, there should be a door on the front. Yeah, like a like, Velcro strap. <laughs> Bro, that's genius. There should be a Velcro strap yeah, and you just Velcro it out and then the package. That's genius. I don't know. It seems a little bit inconvenient. Uh, but then you've got to have it. a Velcro kind of on the crotch area. So, you know, so because if you're peeing and it leaks on the. Mm. You've got to have a Velcro on the back to Velcro it. Yeah. So two Velcro straps, <laughs> one to open and one to... Imagine Velcro on the bum to poo. Shh. Nah. That's a genius. We should start Velcro undies and a card nah, someone game. will steal that idea like they, someone else did. Yeah, we got something else stolen. Yeah. Velcro undies, I like that. That's... Yeah. Well, we I don't know. Happen? I'm not a... Remember there was a kid <laughs> at school that we called Velcro and he was years below us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he'd wear Velcro shoes. They're probably, f I swear they're like fashionable. They're going to be fashionable but soon like or something. We nicknamed him Velcro, not as a diss. It was as like King Velcro. Like yeah. He's the only one in his year doing it. He's making a stand. I wonder if we can talk to a clothes designer, bro. Velcro underwear. Well, un yeah. This shit would sell on an infomercial. It would. On an infomercial. Yeah, not on the mainstream market. I and then all think. these old people yeah. buying it. Velcro undies. I love that. <laughs> Imagine just and you're in the oh. in the toilet. You just hear like, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> oh wow, the community, bro. We'd create, yeah, beautiful. I've never really. How many times in your lifetime have you worn jeans or something and you've accidentally zipped your nuts or something like that? I reckon it's only happened to me once. I or think twice. like once. Yeah, yeah, literally. It, it, people make it out like it's such a common occurrence, but if you're smart and, and practical, particularly in Australia, like. It's 30 degrees for five, six months of the year. Yeah. So we're wearing shorts all the time. Exactly. And when it's not 30 degrees, it's like 25 for two or three months. Mm. But yeah, I'm not I'm not using the door for the undies that often. No, I think it's just impractical. Yeah, it's a bad invention and it's crazy that it's taken off when our Velcro ideas were much better. Yeah, or maybe not even Velcro. Like if it was, I don't know what else you could Something. use. We verbally trademark it. I think that works. Yeah. This is still IP. Like, you can, if you steal our idea, we'll sue you. Because <laughs> that's what happened with, you know, like the, the social network. Mark okay. Zuckerberg stole, like, those two big lads and they You're still got, right, like, a billion right. off it. So it's crazy. If someone does make it, it makes tens of billions. We'll just sue them mm. for, like, 100 mil and happy days. Well, we have our court case segment, all right? We know about that. Um, we used – it's Judge Judy's – well, yep. we, we played off Judge Judy's... Um, inspired again. Yeah, inspired by the great lady who we grew up watching. No one else has ever done that in a podcast, I don't think. Well, the, yeah, I don't know. I think people have done similar things to court cases. Yeah, but, but I don't not think in a genius way that we have. <laughs> I don't think they've used what we have, right? And then Abby Chatfield, right? Most people would know of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's pretty popular. She's just, just nicked it. Just nicked they it. They just called it the something room. 
Yeah, the chat room. I don't know something don't like, know. and it's literally the exact same as ours. Yeah, and some bloke was at work and he was listening to the radio, and that popped up. It must have been inspired, but I'd be very surprised if she's just randomly pretty close to when we started the segment a couple months well, later. The, the thing with the radio mm. show is that there's lots of people involved, and they'll all get ideas from everywhere, and then tell her what to do. So maybe someone's heard it from ours and gone, "Wow, this would be," and then they're getting all the credit, yeah. and they're Everyone's telling they're telling Abby, "Oh, I've got this sick idea." I wonder so where you get your go. fucking ideas from. Yeah. These geniuses <laughs> sitting in Perth. Oh, yeah. They're disrespecting this industry, honestly. All right, confession time. It's now time to dive into your deepest and darkest confessions. Let's hear what the people have to get off their chest. First confession of the week. First confession. Hey, boys, a few weeks ago, my good mate had a party. When I was there, I had a little bit too much. Threw up all over the beanbag and carpet. I also broke the bathroom tap and the bathroom flooded a little bit. Okay. My mate's now having another party this weekend but hasn't invited me because of what happened. Since we're good mates, is this fair? I said sorry and everything. How close are they? He just said we're good mates. These things happen when you're drunk. Like these things happen. The beanbag throw up's yucky because you just imagine it sitting in the beanbag. And the carpet and he's broke the sink. Okay, so he's done three he bad things. a lot things, of damage. Right? Yeah, I think you deserve a week off. Yeah, like a suspension. 100%. A one match ban. Yeah, I think it's fair. Tribunal said, yeah, no chance. I think one week. I think if it's a really mirror. close mate, you should invite all your mates. Yeah. He said good mates. There's a difference. Okay, and did he say, and he said that he said sorry as well, yeah. right? Oh, okay. sorry. No, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would have <laughs> said sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Like, I didn't mean it. I think you would have been invited back if it was vomit. I think breaking the sink leading to leakage in the bathroom. How did he break the sink? What's I he don't done? Know, maybe sat man it. sat or kicked it. No, nah, he would have had to kick it. This or guy's something. been involved with our show for a long time. He sends yeah. in a lot of stuff. He has, and he's made a mistake, right? So I'm sort of look. I don't condone what he's done. Mm. I understand the one week, but I'll I'll try and um help him out. I'll try and review it. I'll I reckon a week. I just think a week and just. Sit back, or you could you you can show up, but mm. off the drink, or maybe You're not allowed to drink. Yeah, maybe go on a retreat and look at your actions and think, look, what can I do better, and how just can I be a better person? Just a few little actions you could have got as drunk and not been, you know, you could yeah. vomit in the garden. You didn't have to, you know, break the sink. Yeah, vomit in the bean break bag. Something of less value if you really want to, like a I garden gnome. You know, things can be. <sighs> things can be. Or just don't break shit. Just relax. Yeah. People seem to be getting angry when they drink. Mm. Just relax. Should be a fun time with your friends. Uh, this girl's having a little bit of issues. A little bit. I right. want some advice. Okay. Hi, boys. Love the pod. So I need advice and would love if you could do it on your podcast. Okay. So I've been dating my boyfriend. Let's call him Matt for two and a half years and I love him lots. Beautiful. I'm sure you do. We have a great relationship and I'm very happy. But... Oh. And this hurts him. This hurts Matt, doesn't it? So they're already not happy, not loving. It's been two and a half years, but yeah, she's gone. She's bored. But I have a male friend at uni who I've known for over a year, but this year we have became a lot closer. He wants to fuck her so bad. Let's call him Ben. All Ben wants is to clap Ben cheeks. the fucker. I genuinely see him as a friend and enjoy his company at uni. We chat outside of uni, but it's never flirty at all. Okay. Yeah, but in his eyes it is. He is in love with you? Yep. Yeah. And he wants everything about you. He literally just wants Matt to die. And he thinks Matt sucks. Yeah, he hates Matt. Uh, we just talk about assignment questions and normal stuff. What's normal stuff? I want to delve deeper Normal stuff into that. sounds flirty. We also don't text every day. We only text days that we see each other at uni, which is one or two days. That's, that's oh, I see that still sucks. Couple of days a week, right? I'd hate that. Here we go. My boyfriend knows about Ben and knows that I'm not interested in Ben. Does it sound this way though? I don't know. But unfortunately, my boyfriend thinks that Ben is interested in me just because he doesn't think that guys and girls can really just yeah, be couldn't agree, friends. Couldn't agree more. Ben and Matt have never met. I feel bad when I talk about uni. And Ben to my boyfriend, Matt, but I'm just wanting to tell him about my day. Oh, so I saw Ben at uni. I want to see you. I want to ask her to send a picture of Ben. I'll be able to Let tell Let me him. just finish off. So for more info, Ben is single. I never flirt with him or touch him at all. Okay. Right. Good. I, 
They definitely hug. You tell me they don't hug. He knows I have a boyfriend. My boyfriend is not at uni and doesn't have any female friends except for my friends and the girls his boys are dating, which is fair. The way it should be. No. Should I stop talking to Ben or stop talking about uni life to Matt or should I just grow up? Pick one. Can guys and girls be friends? We've talked about this before. No. It's hard. 99% it's of the time, no. But 1% of the time. He want, if, you, if she maybe. messaged him right now, Ben, I've broken up with Matt. Yep. Let's go on a date. Even just as a test. Ben, ben would go, oh, yeah, let's go. He'd, right now, pants already off. Do you hug Ben <laughs> ever? And can we have a pic? Because imagine she screenshots a pic, sends it to us, mm. and then forgets to delete it. Matt's gone through the phone. No, so you've just ruined her. Let me just have a look at her. Oh, okay. She's nice. Yes. Yeah. And let's Ben ha- would like her. Right, we'll be the able. Uni boy would want to. We'll be able to find the boy. Be more there. than friends with her. So that's the boyfriend. Okay. Right. So is that is that if you click does it show? Yeah. Is that? Yeah. That's the boyfriend. Yes, I believe so. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, Just, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is the boyfriend we've oh, just she seen. Used fake names, obviously. Yeah, which is cool. a, a very good thing to do Thank on our you. show. Um, okay, it's a tough situation. She is. I think that um, Ben, the uni friend, is a thousand percent interested in her. Mm. You tell yes. me, like a pretty girl at uni. He's 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 single. He's single. He is, and how confident is she that he is straight? Because oh, I think he's straight from what I know. She from, from would have what, mentioned it if probably, he was gay. Because then um, Matt wouldn't have anything soothing, to worry that's about. Calming, yeah. That's a real big um, factor that you'd want to know. It is a massive factor. Like that would just set me at ease. Well, it's the factor of does, does that person want to have sex with my girlfriend or he not? He wants to have sex with her. And I'm, I know that like wholeheartedly, bro. With your heart. The radar's going off. Okay. And at uni? Are you, are you kidding yeah, me? This is when people find themselves in college. The thing... Thing is, she's going home and he's going. How's how going? You? How's, how's your day at uni? Hey, babe, how's uni? She goes. Oh yeah, Ben and I had a great time. Yeah, me and Ben went to class together. Then we, we had, had a lunch little snuggle. No, no, no. They don't touch. Trust. They hug. They don't trust. They're they telling me they don't hug. They would have to hug. I reckon they've she probably hugged, doesn't see it. I reckon they've hugged five times max. Because this is actually something similar that's happened to a friend. Mm. Um, so. One of the lads went to uni, yeah. right, and had a uni friend, yeah. a girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, she had a boyfriend at the time. Right. The whole time. They would go to class together, mm-hmm. hang out at uni together, and Snapchat a bit. Yes. She broke up with her boyfriend. Yeah, I know who this person is. And fucked him straight away. Yes. So this is the same situation. Ben wants to fuck her. Probably really aggressively and rough and hard. He's and thinking about it. when they're in uni together, right? Yeah. I know for a fact he's just thinking about banging her while he's sitting yep. next to her. For mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Look, it can happen. Like, I feel bad for the boyfriend. We've seen it happen. I feel bad <sighs> for him. And look, the girl who sent this in is probably in shock right now listening She's to what we're saying. What? Because but I promise you it's the truth. I've seen it happen before. Some girls can be so delusional about don't, boys' they don't, interests. They don't understand how superficial boys are. How boys work. They just want mo- one. Most like of the time, said, they just think about one thing, and that's what they want. Honestly, ninety nine percent of them. But it's how they either want. They either want answers or like help with uni, but that also leads to other things such as spend more hey, time with me. Google it. You know. Yeah. You only ask someone for answers if you kind of like But he them. might not listen to the show at all. He might not know us. Yeah, I know. Um, this might be just for her. We've given them this ultralight beam so he knows what's going on. But we're helping her as well know. This, we're, we're telling you exactly what Ben wants. We're, we're saying if you – so you say you really love your boyfriend of two and a half years. you got to you cut really the love him. you got to cut the friendship. It's not a friendship. He wants to bang you and he wouldn't a heartbeat. I'd love to see you a messaged photo him at 3 a.m. and said, come over. Yep. Ma'am, he would already be on his way. Yeah, he'd, or he's actually out already outside waiting. He's driving past every night. With his backpack on and his books in the bag. <sighs> Honestly, it's just, yeah, it's so clear. And we've just shared the knowledge, the truth. The truth. Indeed we have. And like I said, if you don't believe us, put it to the test. <laughs> just say. 
me and Matt have broken up. Mm. You know what I mean? If because I promise you, I feel that. I want to see what Ben looks like because you'll be able to tell. How can we find? She, no, she's got to send a pic. Yeah, so we'll wait a bit. But yeah, probably on stories and stuff, bruv. No, you don't no, know. Surely you not. don't know. Let's see if she. Oh, she uses fake names though. Mm. Let's see if she follows a, a Ben on... Nah, she wouldn't use the real Insta. name. Wouldn't use the real name. She would follow... Why is every... Yeah, she follows a lot of Bens. How many? Too many. Matt's in danger. Lots why, of Bens. Why does she use Ben as the name? Maybe because it's generic. You'd be able to find this one pretty quick, I reckon. Yeah. Well, I just need a photo and then it's done. She's done out here. I finished Top Boy. Good. Great. Great. If you haven't watched it... Give it a watch. Um, if you like gang movies, movies about drugs, um, or just anything from from the UK, mm-hmm. watch it. Very good. Ending, insane. So Recommendations. Yeah, nah. Very good, very good. What else have you been watching? What have I been watching lately? Watched a movie called Fresh. Good. Pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Old, new, medium. New, new. Yeah. Has, um, there's actor Sebastian Stan. Right. He's a, he was in... Um, I think he was in Avengers movies I haven't watched. And then he was in this other movie, Pam and Tommy, a TV show I watched recently. Right. And he was in this movie. Pretty good. Interesting. Fresh. I've nearly finished Entourage for a second time. Yeah, I might start for a third round. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yep. All else? the Evan and Buckley were telling me they're onto it yeah. now as well. I was so talking to Buckley about it. He's, he loves it. We're doing a bit of Entourage. We're just helping the show out for we free. We are. Obviously. Giving we love a bit the more show. money because they'd still be making money. I want them to. I want them to make millions yeah. off it. I'm, I'm happy with that. I've been watching Peaky Blinders. Um, yeah, streaming illegally. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's on in England at the moment, so I think if they're getting it, why shouldn't I? So, yeah, I've been watching that. Very good as well. And I'm still watching Breaking Bad with Grace, so we'll keep grinding that, that out. Good. Some episodes are stupid and slow. Like, there's one episode where they're actually catching a fly. Yeah, I've heard a lot about that episode. Really? Yeah, just because people, it's like some people think it's, a masterpiece and most people just think it's really really boring i understand there's symbolism in it right but i thought that it was stupid and i was playing ultimate golf on my phone for half the episode yeah so that's how it captured me but yeah and i've been getting it's weird like you know how you say things and then your phone picks up on it and then it shows ads and stuff i'm on youtube and i'm getting breaking bad spoilers i've never watched a breaking bad video on youtube so Ah. i've got two two deaths that are coming up have been spoiled for me. Bro, these things, they're, a, they're on a us. blessing and a curse, mate. Yep, as most things are. Indeed. We'll wrap it up there this week. We hope you enjoyed the comeback of Jamo and Dylan. That's that. That's that.